Hi, this is Kiara and Paulina from Pencil, and welcome to today's tutorial demonstrating how you can use co-browsing in Pencil Spaces. So to open up a co-browser, you're going to navigate to the left-hand side of your space, and you are going to select the browser icon. Once you click on it, a co-browser will appear on your board. One thing to note is that in order to edit the co-browser, you have to be using the select tool. So as you can see, I've added the co-browser to my page, and Paulina is able to interact with the browser. As you can see, we're using Desmos. Now that I'm on the select tool, I can also interact with the browser. If I ever want to prevent my students or participants from editing the browser, I can simply lock the whiteboard or go into my host permissions and disable editing boards. Now we'll show you Kiara's perspective to show how she cannot edit the browser, but I can. Once I unlock the board, Kiara will be able to edit the browser again. So here we are looking at Paulina's point of view of locking the whiteboard so I cannot edit it. She also goes ahead and changes the participant's permission so I can no longer edit the whiteboard. She then goes and reverses these changes. Now that I have opened up my Google Doc, both Kiara and I can collaborate on this document at the same time. Since the Google Doc is saved to your account, you'll be able to access it outside of Spaces as well. As you can see, Kiara is editing the text in the Google Doc at the same time, and I can see everything that she's doing. I can also share the Google Doc with my participants so that they have access outside of the space as well. Something to keep in mind is that you won't be able to use common keyboard shortcuts to copy and paste something onto your clipboard or to, uh, for example, bold part of the text. You'll need to use the controls in the browser. So you can open up a variety of web pages in your co-browser, including the LMS tool Canvas. So here I'm just on the home page, and let's say I want to take my student through one of my files I've saved. I'm just going to go to my files. I'm going to open up the file I want to walk through. And here, my student can interact with the document. So Paulina can scroll up and down and review the content on the page. As you can see, Paulina is going through the document. So another website you can open within your co-browser is quizzes. So here, I'm going to be sharing a quiz with my class. So I'm going to go to my library. I'm going to select the quiz I would like to start, and then I'm going to select Start Live Quiz. So once I have the quiz set up, I can have my students join me. So Paulina can enter the join code in her own co-browser. Here we are looking at Paulina's point of view of opening the quiz and entering the quiz in a separate collaborative browser. So as you can see, Paulina has joined us in the quiz as we have one participant. So whenever you're ready to start your quiz, you can just select start. So now Paulina can go through the quiz and I can watch her progress. So I can either look at her through the leaderboard She's the only student in the quiz, so she's in first place. But if I go under questions, I can see exactly which questions she's completed, which ones she got correct, and which ones she struggled with. Here we are again looking at Paulina's point of view of starting the quiz in a separate collaborative browser as a student. So once my students have gone through the quiz, I can either click pause or end. Here after ending the quiz, I can take an overview of the results. 
So I can see here which questions Paulina got correct, which ones she ended up skipping, and which ones she got incorrect. Thank you for watching today's tutorial. We hope you found it helpful. If you have any further questions, please feel free to click the help button found at the top right hand side of your screen. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all things new at Pencil Spaces.